All right, Crossroads, so we've had a great year of high school football. We've seen a lot of exciting games, a couple of close finishes, and now we're just two days away here from the last day, week here of the regular season going into the playoffs. One of these games we're looking at is for the district title. We mentioned one earlier in the week. This is for District 14, 3A Division 2 between the Tide Haven Tigers and the East Bernard Bramus, who are ranked number two in 3A Division 2. And both of these teams head in this matchup 5-0 and in district play, and both are moving in the right direction. Tide Haven has been scoring a lot of points from quarter Quarterback Kale Russell and his top target there in Jason Duran. And they hope again to stop the Bramas offense, who's averaged 32 points per game in district play alone. So this game, I think, is going to be close from whistle to whistle. I think this one's going to be probably the most game to watch out for to be the probably the closest district title game we're going to look at here this week, probably between these two teams. Now, from a district title game to a game that for needs to get into the playoffs for Victoria West. They need to win this game versus San Antonio Veterans Memorial to get into the playoffs. And the Warriors right now, they're 7-2 and two and 3-2 three and two in district play. Again, they're facing a team there, Veterans Memorial, who is 2-3 and three in district play. So, if West loses this game, they would be out of the playoffs due to the head-to-head -head matchup here between Veterans Memorial. If Veterans Memorial wins, they will get that fourth spot over West. So, West needs to, again, lock in and focus if they want to get into the postseason there next week. Now over to some action for UHB women's soccer. They are in postseason play here coming up. They'll start tomorrow versus Xavier University of Louisiana out there in Mateer, Louisiana. The game will start at 11 a.m. again in the afternoon there Thursday. The Jaguars, they're the number six seed there in the postseason. Xavier is the number three seed. The Jaguars, they've had two top goal scorers and again last week's athlete of the week and Kylie Spree Kolosh and Estelle Flanagan, but their defense has stepped up as well. Again, Anna Marie Munez and Trine Sternup Jorgensen has been also helpful there for the Jaguars. So both offense and defenses are expected to make hopefully a lot of plays because if the Jaguars can win this game, they'll either face LSU Alexandria or Texas A&M Texarkanda there next week. Now, some updates again for area round matchups here for volleyball here. Again, for Goliad, they play tomorrow versus the Marion Bulldogs at 6 p.m. at Pleasanton High School there for their next matchup in the area round. And then for Calhoun Sand Crabs, they play tomorrow as well versus Toulouse Midway. That will be at 6.30 p.m. at Woodsbury High School there in their gym. And now for both Victoria East and West, congrats to both of them for getting into here the area round here of the playoffs. They're going to be playing on Friday night for East they're going to be facing Pflugerville Hendrickson Friday at 6 p.m. at Giddings High School. And Victoria West will play Friday night. Again, that game will start at 8 p.m. versus Austin Anderson at Seguin High School. Again, that game will be played after another game is played at the same high school there in Seguin later on. And I wanted to mention also Quero High School. They also, again, moved on to the next round as well. They'll be playing tomorrow night versus Wimberley High School there, also at Seguin High School. So we got a couple of our area teams playing there in Seguin there, there for volleyball. And then finally tonight, I wanted to mention quickly the college football playoff rankings that came out yesterday here. Again, here's the first rankings. Here are the teams. Oregon is number one. Ohio State got number two. Georgia is three. Miami, Florida is four. Texas is number five. Penn State is number six. Tennessee is seven. Indiana, eight. BYU 9 and Notre Dame is at 10. So these are the first rankings here by the playoff committee. This will be going on for the next four weeks here, and then we'll see what will happen next year going on for the playoff. It's 12 teams now. Again, it's way different than four teams there from the past seasons. And that's going to do it here in sports. Don and Shauna, back to you. All right, Max, thank you. And we're back.